up, my friends and family? Welcome back to another video where today I will be telling you guys how I got ready for military. Every single So, as you guys know, I have military coming up, and it's literally in two days as I'm recording this. I go in on Thursday, which is October 1st. I just wanted to let you know, like, kind of what I've been doing the past two years, ever since my brother went in, what I've been doing physically, mentally, to get prepared. I feel like I've been training more physically than I have mentally. I'm just doing workouts, waking up early in the morning, and... <laughs> Three minute showers. So working out wise in the military, I mean obviously you need a good physique, you need good stamina. It would just make things so much easier for you. Ever since 2018, my sophomore year, I've been doing that just um, doing a few push-ups every morning. It's only when I became a junior or start of senior year that I actually started training like working out like having a routine going out running and just with my boy Caleb we've been we, we were like holding each other accountable so that was really good for you guys those people that are going into military maybe and you're just watching this video to get prepared I uh, hope this video can help you so uh, stay tuned and I'm just gonna be breaking down like what you should do to get ready and for those just watching this video is just kind of updating you guys what I've been doing to get ready for it. So in the military, there's this test called the IPPT. What is it called again, bro? What is this animal? Individual Proficiency Physical Test. Individual Proficiency Physical Test. Anyways, this test pretty much tests whether you are physically fit um, for combat or not. Pretty much they score you on how well you do, how many push-ups you can do in a minute, how many sit-ups you can do in a minute, and how fast you can run a 2.4 kilometer run. So that's what I've been training for. It's been really good because the house that I'm staying in right now has a track right underneath that is exactly 2.4 and it literally is for IPPT. There's also different ranks you can get. There's a passing grade, there's a silver and a gold and it all has different points. A goal is 85 points. So that's what I'm kind of going for. There's an online website that shows you like, it literally grades like what score you would get on the IPPT and you just put in what you think you can do. We'll see how it goes, I guess. This is, this is leaking. Oh. <laughs> it's going? All right guys, so I'm going to be Showing you guys what I'm bringing to military. Like the first day, you gotta bring like a duffel bag full of things. So um, just showing you the items. First of all, we got a um, box full of washing detergent. <laughs> uh, so we, <laughs> we got some washing detergent for like laundry and stuff in camp. Um, next up, we got three in one best cream. Shower gel. Shower gel. We got some um, antiperspiration um, deodorant. 48 for 48 hours, almost out though. So I'm just gonna probably swap that out. Prickly heat, um, so that in the in the evening when I'm done with showers, don't don't. Uh, I'm gonna just put this on and it'll be good. Next up, we got some Febreze for fabric, and it's also antibacterial, so it can uh, clean my bunk and make it smell better. Got an alarm clock, very important thing to have. Hopefully this will wake me up. I mean, <laughs> it better. It better wake me up. We got a toothbrush uh, set, which has a toothpaste, um, floss, and Pretty well protected, I can see. Yeah, as you, yeah it's like, it's like yeah. two levels, dude. We also got some band-aids. Yeah, just small stuff like mosquito repellent, more, more band-aids, some ointments, facial cream. We also got a a um, basket to bring all my toiletries when I'm going to the shower so it's not like just everywhere and I have to like carry everything just got a little basket which is Gucci and you know pretty good <laughs> got a uh, nail clippers very important thing to have what else what do we have here some more muscle ache relief um, rub on a ton of wet wipes wet wipes are your best friend am I right brother yes <laughs> like antibacterial so just wipe everything in bunk of course in bunk, yeah, yeah, true. Also got some Glade fresh, fresh lavender to put in my bag so it doesn't stink up like my civilian bag. Got a ton of razors, disposable razors, which is really important as well. Got some pens, things you need. Sharpie, super important. Um, marking everything you have so that it doesn't like, you don't get it confused with other people's. Uh, hangers, clothes hangers with the pins on the back so you can like 
hang hang pants and stuff. Room and span, tiny one to sweep, sweep up my area, keep it clean. Goggles, because you apparently need goggles now. It is a, like swim, swimming courses, All right? I think. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. basic swimming. Frantically shuffle through the bag. Got a calendar with my boys on it. Like each each page is like a different different picture, so it's pretty good. Toilet paper, a ton of toilet paper. It is just a sample. I'm just gonna bring like a lot more, like maybe like two or three rolls more. And oh, buddy, Ziploc yes. bags. Yes. Yes, a ton of Ziploc bags. Like, cannot stress having these. Milo, this is like the start of all. Like, I still have a ton more snacks. I'm gonna bring you on an epic adventure to my living room, which is all the snacks. Yes! We got the um, fruit free granola bars, two boxes of those, very good. We got some oat crunches, chocolate Nutella, nutty chocolate, and chunky hazelnuts, very good. Um, got some cough drops, which is very helpful. Um, a lot of jellies, because I'm a, I'm a jellies over candy guy. Got some goldfish, colors, every single type. Um, cheddar cheese, rainbow colors, epic, and a ton of Neste. Nestum. Nestum milk commentary. <laughs> and then, after all those snacks, we got batteries for my alarm clock. Got a. <laughs> nine, nine of them. Last but not least, making life much easier in camp, we got some flip flops. Yay! Got a pair of flip flops. Very nice. And this is the bag that I'm bringing, bringing everything in. Um, I think that's everything. That is the stuff that I'm gonna be bringing into camp on the first day. Hope it helps me out. So I've also been training a little bit mentally for army. Some of the things is that I've been just chatting with like previous army people, like my brother, um, some cousins, my dad, just like seeing what they think about it, asking them questions. All right guys, so right now I am joined with my brother. What's um, good, what's good? We got the lit merch on, definitely should go check it out if you, you don't have, have some, some already. Definitely good to wear. So, my brother, he's been through it all, two years of army. Um, he is officer rank. Um, I mean, you guys already saw the vlog of him commissioning. So I'm just gonna be interviewing him a little bit about um, just what to expect. Did Why you tell me the questions? Um, he didn't tell me the questions. Oh, but anyway, wow. straight off the back, what is the first thing to expect when you enter military? I'm sure everyone wants to know that. First thing to expect when you enter the military, yes. like when you first enter, like it's straight. Like inside. BMT, like basic military training, like right when you leave your parents. All right, right, right when you leave your parents, right. Um, there are a lot of administrative things you need to do. For example, you need to find your room, you need to find your buddy, you need to collect yeah. your merch. You know your merch? No, I mean like <laughs> not merch, but your like equipment. The army merch. Yeah, all your yeah, equipment. Yeah. So. Just know that the first few days is going to be quite rushed because you need to get all your things right. You need right. to get everything you need to do to complete your two years of service or some of you, you know, 22 months, you know. So definitely the first few weeks is going to be, well, first few weeks, first few yeah. days. It's going to be like a lot of input. So you're going to expect a lot of information being pumped into your brain. So like open your just mind. Like just like open your mind and pour water. Oh gosh. Straight up just like. All right. So that's what's gonna happen. Second question is, what is the food like? What like the cafeteria food? food? Like, I guess. Um, the food, the cafeteria. That's very cute how you put that word, but <laughs> not the cafeteria. It's, so it's like a, a what's it? It's called a cookhouse. All right. Ah, yes. a chow mess. I mean, that's the, the different way of saying it. But it's just basically called a cookhouse. Okay. The food is good. It's good. Is that like, did they pay you to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but the food is good. I mean, compared to the times of our parents, our, I mean, our parents, our, our, our father, oh and like how, how the army <laughs> has evolved, the food is definitely a lot better. There are some days where you're like, oh my goodness, this is actually quality food, quality oh. food. But there are obviously some days where you eat, like for example, the bihun or like, it's kind of noodle. The vermicelli. You know, the vermicelli, yeah. <laughs> yeah bihun in Singapore, but like basically, um, some of those kind of food was a little bit hard to cook. When you bite into it, you're like, yeah. No, 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 no. But okay. don't worry, don't worry about the food. Like, if you're hungry, you're just gonna eat it. Man. Just eat it. Yeah. Third question, kind of deeper. What is something that you would tread, like one normally treasures the most after the BMT or like military experience? Like, like, <laughs> can you say that again? <laughs> Commentary. <laughs> after you went in, what is something you are more grateful about in the um, outside world, I guess? If what, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, what yeah. I suddenly appreciate. Yeah, well, yeah, like what you one, appreciate. Straight off the bat, family. <laughs> like, when you're in camp, you, all of a sudden you're like, oh my goodness, I miss my family. 
and like you realize that why we're serving this country and why we're serving the nation is to protect the people you love, right? So your family, your friends, and all these basic necessities such as like hot showers uh, or like a, co- a soft bed. Yeah, these things you start to like notice and be thankful about. Right. And you're gonna miss that once you're in camp, you know? Yeah. Right, makes sense. Straight off the bat, family, friends. Yeah. All right. First of family! No. <laughs> Fourth of all, I mean, definitely military people. They're gonna, there's gonna be some down times. I mean, like, for sure, like, if you're in the middle of the jungle and you're just like, really getting smacked, I guess that's like a pretty low, a pretty uh, all-time low. Yeah, yeah, the rain, you know. Yeah, oh so God. like, what, what, what keeps one going? Like, how should, how should one um, prepare to keep going? I, I'm prepare to keep like, going. Um, for me, it's like, enjoy the moment with your friends. So like, make friends, your buddy, you know, your section mates, or like, just the people you're gonna be with for the next nine weeks, mm-hmm. or you know, two years, or like your unit, whatever. You know, enjoy a moment with them. Try to find something that could keep you going together. You know, for me, it's like, you know, sunrise or something. Look mm-hmm. at the sunrise and be like, oh my goodness, that's a pretty nice sunrise. And then I like, talk about it. Or like, go deep, you know, talk about... I mean, what's, what else is there to do if you're like getting whacked and smacked down there in the forest and, you know, it's raining. And I mean, you can just talk, you know, just chat, chat it up. Nobody's yeah. gonna not want to have a good conversation, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously you can rest too, but like, yeah, take your mind off the pain. Just enjoy, enjoy what happens. What yeah, happens, yeah. happens. It is what, what it is. What happens, what happens, happens. And last of all, kind of what this whole video is about, um, how can one prepare physically and mentally for the entire military experience? Like, this is straight up from the officer himself. So, um, what should one do to prepare? Maybe like how soon one should start preparing or like what they should they do? Like before in army. Yeah, bef- like before you go in. Before you go in, yo, just go start running, man. It doesn't matter if you're slow, but just go and run. Because you just need to run, man. Just run. Because you know, IPPT, I mean, like you already said, that test, yeah. the physical test, right? Is running. 50 points are coming from the run, man. Like, wow. yeah. All right. All right, yeah. and then just do pu- like push-ups. You know, one of my section mates, um, he was telling me like, you know, I, I could barely do like 30 back in the day. But he's like, just do 20 every time you can like you know just do 20 and then like two hours later if you have time just do 20 and then do like 100 a day and slowly just pick it up and boom you can yeah. do more than 60 in one minute before it and, and yeah, yeah mentally i guess it's just there's not much just go in with an open mind just expect the unexpected and work with it and think fast but you can't really learn how to do that you just gotta experience it so that mentally just know that yeah as christians you know at least for us yeah, yeah. you just trust god but like, and, and, and talk to your family and friends outside of army. Yeah. But other than mentally, nah, there's, there's not much. There's not much you can prepare for that. Yeah, and I mean, you know, going back to what you said about like the 20 push-ups a day, like, like it's, how, how do you say this? Like a hundred seems a lot. Like if you don't work out a lot, you're like, whoa, like a hundred push-ups a day, that's like crazy. But if you do it like 20, like 20 times, like 20 push-ups five times throughout the day, like that's not that much. It's not that hard. Anyone can do like, it. Not gonna, not trying to flex or anything, but uh, yeah, getting a routine like whether online or something, just searching like a like a good routine, um, workout workout routine that helps so much. Like just doing it every day and just yeah. getting that yeah, does. yeah, getting that physical fitness. So that was interview with Officer Sean Gunn. Yeah, so uh, thanks for thanks for joining, bro. Yeah, Appreciations. See you guys. So that's what I did to prepare for military. I mean, in the end of the day, man can just prepare all he wants, but it's really God that's gonna pull me through. So I'm just trusting in God all the way. That's who I'm really gonna be holding on to. So um, yeah, hope this video kind of helps you guys uh, prepare for military. If you're going in, if you're a Singaporean that's going in soon, or if you're not going in, um, I hope you, you kind of know what I'm gonna be facing, I guess, or what I've been doing to get ready for army. And once again, please keep me in the in your prayers. It will be really appreciated. My enlistment day is October 1st. Also, I haven't cut my hair, so it's gonna be gone soon. It might be in this video. I'm not sure yet. So the next time you see me, this is probably gonna be gone. This this hair right here. Alright guys, we're about to go in to get the haircut.
快了，两年，不是都都都到我们家。对哦。两两年是两年哦，很快的。嗯。几天进去里面？哎呀。明天。明天。明天啦。明天小象。嗯。对。Empty。比较舒服，太热了。比较凉了哈。对，凉了。什么风？那我也穿的棉。啊？对呀。哈哈哈哈哈。好，好，好。哈哈哈哈哈。Not too bad. Thank you. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> I still don't feel like I'm going in the military. It just feels like a normal haircut. <laughs> oh, rip. Oh, rip, bro. <laughs> Besides that, thank you guys for watching. Keep me in your prayers, um, but also know that I'm, I'm ready and I'm mentally and physically ready. Just going in with an open mind. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, God bless, peace out. <laughs>